Hey everybody, Marinus here and uh, welcome to my review of Quasar, uh, number 39 of Marvel Comics. Uh, this is a tie-in or a crossover from uh, Infinity War books um, and it continues the story of, um, I believe, let's see here, Infinity War number four. Okay, cool. So, Quasar. Um, Quasar is, uh, I like that, I like Quasar. But he isn't very popular in the Marvel Universe, unfortunately. And I can see why, because he's not very an exciting character. But on the other hand, I don't know much about him. I just came across this, you know, comic in my, uh, in my, in my uh, <clears throat> book cabinet. Is that how you say it? <laughs> I don't know. But um, yeah, this is just, a, let's say, a throwaway storyline. Because what happens, we have see here Thanos, uh, but Thanos gives uh, Vendel Vaughn, who is Quasar, the uh, ultimate nullifier. And the ultimate nullifier is the, uh, the ultimate weapon. And whoever uses it can wipe out and complete, you know, solar system or galaxy or Milky Way. Um, the only downside is, um, is that whoever uses it dies as well. But Quasar doesn't know that, but Thanos, you know, he, he knows that what happens. So he gives that to, um, to Quasar. And why? Because the ultimate bad guy in this storyline is Magus. And Magus is the, well, let's say, evil doppelganger of uh, Adam Warlock. And that's, you know, who this story is all about. It's, it's about Infinity Gauntlet, Infinity Stones, etc., etc. And... Uh, and they want to stop Magus because he is all powerful at this point, I guess. Or the storyline goes towards that 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 end game. And um, so, Wendell uh, Quasar takes it and he said, "You know what? I'm going to use it." Everyone stands back and he creates a bubble uh, around him for you know because if he uses it, then. You know, he protects himself and also the people outside the dome. Not sure if that works, if man, if that works, because if you use the ultimate nullifier, I mean, the whole universe can be destroyed. So I don't think a tiny bubble can stop that power. But I don't know. Uh, so he consults his um, cosmic companion called Epoch or Epoch. I'm not sure how you spell that in America. Epoch, Epoch, probably. And uh, he wants to know more about the ultimate nullifier. And Apoc, who is, has cosmic... Uh, well, not sure if he's got cosmic awareness, but he's a cosmic being. He knows a lot. And he says, here, yeah, there's a um, repository of knowledge somewhere in the solar system. And basically a, a, a giant library. And so they go there. <clears throat> and uh, the Avengers and... Uh, X-Men and, and Fantastic Four are wondering, hey, did he kill himself? Uh, what happened? Uh, the light changes of the of the bubble. But yeah, they don't get an answer. So they go to uh, skip a few pages. They go to the to this planet called uh, Russ in the Tri Galaxy uh, area. What? No, D. No, I'm sorry, I'm saying that wrong. The planet Ross is the Tri Galaxy Area Academics, Acad Academic Center. Jesus Christ, my English, I need to improve a lot. So, and I haven't uh, spoken about the art, by the way. I haven't also heard a lot about the artist who is, I haven't mentioned it at all, uh, is Steve Lytle, Little Lytle, is the penciler, Mark Gruner is the writer, and Candelaria McGann is the anchor. Uh, I, I like his art. It's it's really different from what we used to see from Marvel nowadays. Oh, well, he's also back in the day. I like his art. And, I mean, look at his beautiful buildings. Cool. So, um, Quasar is landing and they ask, he asks around for, hey, I need information. But people recognize the ultimate nullifier and they are scared. And rightfully so because, well, yeah. Uh, it can destroy everything, it can destroy reality. So Apoch is jumping out of his cape, out of his pocket dimension, and they, uh, you know, gonna gonna ask around if they're uh, if they can information about the this cosmic weapon. 
So they go to uh, some kind of library and uh, they're getting pointed to the, to the right location. And um, April is, you know, plugging into the, the computer and try to uh, gain the knowledge. Well, somewhere out of nowhere, Death Urge is visiting uh, Quasar. And Death Urge is a, um, yeah, I'm not saying a cosmic being, but more like an agent of chaos who is immortal and has different power sets. And basically is also, in my opinion, um, a knockoff of a DC character called um, Black Racer. Because Black Racer can, just like Death Verge, um, well, let's say Black, uh, Black Racer is a, uh, a being of death, uh, a manifestation of the aspect of death. And, and he travels through skis. Um, that's how he flies. And he has, of course, uh, different power sets. But, well, if you ski on... Um, if you're standing on skis and flying and you are an agent of death, like Death Urge is an agent of chaos. Uh, yeah, he's, he's, he's a cool character, I think. But yeah, he's too similar to, uh, to Black Racer. So yeah, bad choice. So um, they are going to battle because he visits everyone who uses the ultimate nullifier because he, being an agent of oblivion, uh, he cons uh, it is in his hint interest of what those people are doing, but he has also have a um, well, not so sure of a plan, but he has a motive. But what the motive is, we don't know yet. Uh, that's gonna, you know, get revealed later. So they are battling, and we see uh, a little side story of her. That's that's her name, her, H A R, and. What the storyline here, I'm not really familiar with because I don't have the back issues. But her is also another cosmic being who is also a, um, and an, well, the counterpart of Adam Strange. She has, you know, blonde hair, golden skin, also rocks his, his costume at a time. Um, I like her uh, as well, but... Like a lot of characters from the 90s, they are just throwing somewhere in the, they're lying somewhere on the on the shelf and nobody's doing with, with her anymore and with Quasar as well. Not sure why. I mean, you can flesh them out and being great characters, but yeah, not sure why why they don't do it that. It's a shame. But um so basically what what is Quasar basically? Is also he is a, also a well not so sure a agent of order but more like a uh, protector of the universe and he reminds me a lot of the original Captain Marvel the the male one uh, because he has I don't know maybe the the, the color scheme of his um, of his costume he is has bands on his wrist that can do things and um, yeah he's, he's just a great guy but he reminds me a lot of Captain Marvel although they're Similar, in, uh, not similar in personalities, and the power sets is also different. But the power sets of Death Earth and Quasar are basically the same. They can create uh, objects, weapons, or uh, other things um, from thin air. I mean, well, this is not entirely true because the objects that comes from the uh, from the, uh, the objects from Death Earth come from his. His body, they are uh, they are void-based powers, if you can call it that. I'm not sure if that's the right word, but um, and and Quasar has light, hard light powers or something. He can do much more than creating, you know, hard light. Can you know shoot energy bolts and create plasma or heat and energy shields and whatnot. But as you can see here, they are battling with you know with swords and with uh, with shields and. We see him here beheading, but, you know, Death Urge is, cannot be killed. And he attacks them, and he's, you know, yabbering about that he, uh, he, he must help him into the journey, into his inner darkness, etc. And uh, I'm not sure why uh, I like this complete storyline, because uh, we have seen this before. And also, he is explaining his powers... 
My weapons are made of midnight in all mortal souls. They are useless, ephemeral as shadow, unless you give them power over you. This you have done, Quasar. Uh, yeah, no. And so, skipping a few pages. So, he's lecturing, basically, um, Quasar. And he, Quasar says, you know what? Why are you doing this? Um, I won't be using, I won't be able to use the nullifier if you kill me. And uh, I won't be able to consign a being of far greater power than me to your master Oblivion. Yeah, he's an agent of chaos. His master is Oblivion. And there's a storyline uh, also with that. But, you know, we're not going into this. And then he says, Death Urge, you misunderstand me, Quasar. I'm not here to kill you. I visit everyone who is sincerely con contemplating using the nullify and make sure they understand what it means to be the bearer of nothingness. To dispense the void, one must accept the void in your heart. And, well, Quasar refuses that and uh, Devers vanish. And that's it. They, they, they battling each other to a standstill. And like I said, we have seen this many, many times to that the evil guy says, well, to be this, you must become this. And it's, it's pretty stupid. And this is not very a, a very good issue at all. And we are last year see that you know Apoch wants to stay at the 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 library to let well he can learn a lot of things for a millennia or so. Uh, it's 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 a bad bad comic. But the reason I just you know wanted to show you this is because I uh, I like Quasar and I wanted to see more of them and uh, of more of him. Um, and the problem is with all these tie-in books, it leads to nowhere. Uh, for instance, this 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 whole empire storyline with Marvel, uh, I I don't like it at all. I mean, you have to buy twenty or twenty five or thirty or fifty books to to all tie into the main books. But I think if you buy the main books, you don't miss anything because mostly uh, side stories, just like this one, are boring. They are don't uh, contribute anything to to the main storyline. So yeah, we have him here, Quasar, you know, try to use the nullifier and he's going on a quest to what does the nullifier. And then he is going battle a, a agent of chaos because, well, you have to become the thing. So I'm going to teach you a lesson. It's stupid. <laughs> but yeah, it's not, not a good story. It's not a good issue, but I like Quasar. So yeah, that's my take. Thanks for watching guys. And i uh, see you next time. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so. Bye.